Hi everyone. This is my end of week five, beginning of week six message. Um, I wanted to get this video up on Friday because, first of all, with the conferences and the visits from the guests this week, a lot of things are fresh in my mind about the museum exhibit assignment. And I want to make sure that I share that information with you. Um, and I also wanted to give you a little bit more time to kind of process it and think about it because I know you have your presentations coming up next week and then the final draft due on Friday. So this will give you a little bit more time to process everything. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, I did have a family emergency yesterday. My husband fell, um, they're not quite sure why, and he's in the hospital. So they're taking some uh, good care of him, but I wanted to let everyone know I'm a little bit scattered and a little bit um, slow in getting back to everybody on email and answering questions and giving feedback and that kind of thing. So I apologize in advance for that. Um, and I will keep you posted on everything if um, things in terms of the schedule need to change at all for next week. But right now, everything seems stable and we will just continue to finish out the semester as we were planning. Um, I may do this video in smaller parts, um, in part because uh, I've been getting a lot of phone calls um, and I also, um, for those of you who don't know, I'm in an administrative position in the writing program. So we have a couple meetings today um, about opening for the fall and plans for the fall. Um, so I'm going to be running back and forth. So I'll try to break this video down. But I ask that you watch all the parts because I'll be having information about the assignment and about the presentations for next week that I think will be really valuable to you as you set out to do your revisions. Um, so as far as the exhibition project goes, I'm going to talk about it in kind of the four different parts. The first part being the title, the second part being the front matter, or what Molly from the National Gallery and Ginny from um, National Museum of Women in the Arts called the intro panel. The third piece is the organization, the global organization of the works that you're picking for your project. And the last piece um, is the individual label text. Okay, so I'm going to try to talk in this video about um, the title and the front matter, what I call the front matter. Um, and then I'll post um, the second video will be about um, the other pieces, as well as some um, updates in terms of when I'll be hosting office hours and that kind of thing additional office hours. Um, okay, so as far as the title's concerned, um, Molly, when I asked her on Wednesday about things to keep in mind in terms of, you know, getting prepared for opening an exhibit, she mentioned that the title is very important piece of the exhibit because that is what is going to lead your reader into your reader, your viewer, your visitor, into the museum. So the more creative and snazzy the title, uh, the more likely people will be to come and see the exhibit. So that's what draws them in. So I know some of you have worked on titles and they're very catchy and snazzy and they work well. Um, some of you have titles that are perfectly functional, but you may wanna think about, well, how can I make this more interesting? Um, and then for those of you who don't have titles, you wanna come up with one. Um, if you could send me the final title for your exhibit uh, by Monday at 9 a.m., that would be great. Um, I can put it on the schedule so that everybody kind of knows um, what the focus is for one another's presentations. Um, I'd also like to send that schedule out to Shira because she expressed interest in attending some of the presentations. So I think it'll be helpful if she has an idea of what the focus of each presentation is. And then I'd also like to send it out to some of the guests that we had um, this semester um, in case they would want to stop by and pop in for your presentation. So 9 a.m. on Monday, if you could get me your final title, that would be great, okay? Um, the second thing is the front matter or the intro panel. Um, Molly had said this is what gets the viewer excited about walking through the exhibit. So the title gets them to the museum. The front matter is what gets them excited about walking through the exhibit um, and also kind of orients them so that they understand where they are, what they're going to be seeing. 
she said to keep it straightforward, very um, concise. So you want to indicate to the viewer, this is the theme of the exhibit, right? These are some of the issues, themes, historical connections that you need to be aware of. Um, you can even say, you know, this group of artists that you'll be seeing does this, while this group does something a little bit different. Um, but in general, you want to give your viewer kind of a roadmap for what they're going to be seeing. Okay, so what is it that this exhibit covers? What's important to know about it? I think both Molly and Ginny from the National Museum of Women in the Arts talked about this idea of a who, who cares. I think they use the term who cares. I use the term so what? Like what's the purpose or the point or the why? So you want to make sure that's integrated into your front matter so that you have that there for your viewer. So those are kind of the first two pieces of the exhibit assignment. Um, what I'm going to talk about next, because I have to pause and go to a meeting, um, is the global organization of the works that you selected, and then the individual write-ups for each work. Um, so that's what I'll talk about in the next video. I'll also give you the days and times for the open office hours. And I want to talk a little bit about, in the next video, grading for the course, because I've had some questions about some things that came up in gradebook. So I thought it might be a good idea to kind of elaborate and explain those issues. Okay, so I'll see you soon.